everyone. Today we're going to be doing a recipe on how to make an, a healthy oatmeal chocolate eclair and also um, an oatmeal cream puff. First we're going to start with the oatmeal portion of it. What you need is one cup of oatmeal. This is actually oatmeal with almond in it. Um, a half a cup of uh, flaxseed. This is ground, grind it. I um, have a grinder, so I was able to buy the actual seeds and grind them. But you can also purchase it like that. This is a half a cup of um, almond butter. One third cup of honey. And two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Mix everything together until everything's combined to form a, a pasty type of texture. After doing research on the ingredients, this recipe has a lot of healthy nutrients in it. It has antioxidant, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, vitamins A, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B12, D, E, calcium, chloride, copper, folic acid, fiber, iron, probiotic, phosphorus, protein, magnesium, magnesium, omega-3, and zinc. And there's a lot of preventatives in this recipe also. I'm going to add the links at the bottom of my notes. Um, so if you want to drill into it and see all the health benefits, then you're more than welcome. Okay, for the filling for the cream puffs, I'll be using um, vanilla pudding. Um, the pudding that I'll be using is homemade. At the end, I'll have the link listed at the top if you want to get my recipe on how to make the homemade recipe um, for the vanilla, then it will be there. And also the chocolate. I also made that homemade. So if you follow the link, then you'll be able to get the homemade recipe for that. Okay, now to get started, what you'll do for the cream puff is fill the little bag with the vanilla pudding. This is an icing bag, but it'll still do its job. And then roll it in the ball. These treats are so healthy and good, but you just eat them in moderation, just like anything else. And then you want to just stick it in there and squirt it. And just place it down. Okay, for the chocolate eclair, you're going to press down on, we'll call it the oatmeal dough, and make it like a sandwich type thing. Then get the chocolate pudding and place it on the top. Then finish it with the, the top part. So you basically want to make it like thin. Okay, here we go. The one right here, I have the hole with it like coming out. And then on the other cream puff, I actually covered the hole. So when you chew into it, you're going to get it in your mouth. Here, you're going to get a little bit more, but it's also oozing out. 
Here I made a bigger sandwich with the chocolate inside of it. See? And this one more of a bite size. So the bite size will be better because you can put it right in your mouth. But you can always um, eat it with a fork too. Okay, let's try it. This one you can put right in your mouth. Mmm. Delicious. That was the cream puff without the whole bean covering. So good. Very nutritious. But of course you'll want to eat a lot in one sitting because too much of anything will be fattening. Let's try the chocolate eclair. Mmm. Very good. Both of them are delicious. You would love it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy the recipe. If you if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed as of, as of yet, then please subscribe. This way you'll receive future um, recipes. Also, if you need the recipe for the homemade chocolate and also homemade vanilla, I'll have the link right after the video. You could just click right on it and then you'll be able to make that as well. Well, I hope you um, have a very blessed day and fun, fulfilling, and safe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.